Board of Games Tuesday and Fellow Toy Hunters coming to you today with my Saturday pickups video. Again, it's another medley of pickups, one of my uh, favorite videos to do, and probably more often it that's going to be the type of pickup video that I that I'm going to do uh, because I am slowing down, not necessarily like slowing down adding games to my collection, but I'm not adding as many. So to do a straight game pickups video it would take me two seconds so it's more often going to be just all mixed together uh, from now on unless I have like a mass amount of movies because I do tend to buy movies in bulk depending so uh, but rest assured I am still buying games just not as many I'm slowing down adding to the collection because now I'm looking for more quality pieces and things and I'm not just adding bulk because I've actually cut out a lot of dead weight and bulk uh, out of my collection because I would try and play games and find it I didn't really care for them so uh, it's gonna be more quality over quantity because that's the kind of collector that I am I play the games that I collect I don't collect just to have okay so Moving right along, I'll go ahead and I will start with the game pickups that I got. Uh, now, this particular game is one that I've had for a little bit. I just keep forgetting to haul it. I meant to put it in yesterday's video and uh, completely forgot I had set it to the side. And that is uh, Akiba's Trip, uh, Undead and Undressed. Now, for the longest time, I wasn't quite sure if it was supposed to be Akiba Strip. <laughs> or Akiba's Trip, but it is actually apostrophe S, Akiba's Trip. So uh, this game, I haven't got a chance to play it yet. It is an XC title, and I've been eyeballing it for a little while since uh, before it hit shelves, uh, and somebody had actually turned it in used to GameStop to put credit towards, I guess, the PlayStation 4 release, so they would rather have the PlayStation 4 release, but Anywho, uh, so they were selling it used, and I picked it up for a pretty good price. I had some stuff to, to trade in and give back and coupons and whatever. Uh, so, yeah, I'm really looking forward to playing this. I believe it's just kind of, it's kind of a fighting game with, like, clothing aspects to it. I don't know. It seemed quirky and weird, and I really, really wanted to try it out. Okay, uh, these next two or my final two games I stopped by I went to uh, the Lakeland Square Mall today which is the town that's really far away from me it's another town that's really far away from me Orlando is a little bit closer to me but Lakeland is a little further away so I went to Lakeland today and uh, I was at the Lakeland Square Mall and that is where the store, uh, the Game Attic is. Shout out to the Game Attic. Um, and I do enjoy the Game Attic. It's what I used to call my uh, mildly overpriced game store. Uh, you, you can find some good things there, but you got to look, uh, especially now, right before the holidays, when you're in the holiday season. Uh, it is uh, kind of busy in there. People are looking for games. And tax season, same thing. Uh, but around the off season, believe it or not, summer's kind of an off season for them. Um, the end of summer in that little fall time area, not quite the holidays, it's kind of an off time for them. So you can actually find some pretty good stuff. You do have to look uh, for manuals and then they will, they don't do what GameStop does, which is just put a blank cover in there. They'll actually print a cover off. Uh, and sometimes the quality of the printing isn't that great, but you do have to look to see if you're willing to pay that price for just a printed cover and not a real one without the manual and all that stuff. So these are different things you look for. But I do manage to find good things in there. They do have some rare games uh, for actually usually... Uh, it'll be kind of under eBay, sometimes at eBay prices, sometimes over eBay prices, but a lot of times I find things that are that are under eBay prices. So, uh, first thing that I got was a PSP game, and that is, uh, Jacandia, The Timeless Land. And, uh, this was one that I had eyeballed at GameStop, and like an idiot, I didn't pick it up. And, uh, of course, it ended up going the way the wind. So I'm glad to pick this up. It looks kind of like a quirky game. It's like one of those kind of time trial things. So I love collecting for the PSP. PSP is one of my uh, 
one of my favorite systems. Now, uh, this last game that I have, it is a PS2 game, and I'm going to have to fiddle around with my PlayStation 2 Slim. It is not reading discs, so uh, I'm not sure if the laser's out of alignment or the laser's dirty. It was uh, reading games just fine, and then uh, yesterday when I was trying to play some games with my nephew, it just it wouldn't read. It read Devil May Cry for about five seconds. Of course, I wasn't playing Devil May Cry. I was just testing it in the system. And uh, it read it read fine, and then I took it out, and I put Kingdom Hearts in, and Kingdom Hearts wouldn't read. I took that out, I put Devil May Cry back in, and then Devil May Cry wouldn't read. So I don't know what's wrong with it. If that problem sounds familiar to anybody, please leave a comment down below and let me know, because it's driving me bananas. I really don't think anything's wrong with the machine, really, uh, but I'm going to have to tinker around with it and see. But all that explanation, you know, I, I rub a trail when I talk. All that explanation to say, I do have PlayStation 2 game, I'm not going to be able to play it right now. Uh, the game that I got is Drakengard. Okay, I hear positive and negative about this. Drakengard 3 did come out. Uh, I know they said the controls are kind of a beast for this, but the story is interesting and actually mildly almost disturbing in a way. Um, so I was really interested in uh, picking it up, and I figured for 13 bucks complete that wasn't bad because this is at least I know I know at least a $25 game on eBay if not more complete so like I said sometimes you can find really good deals in there so that does it for my game pickups uh, I'll go ahead and I'll show what I got at Hot Topic I said in yesterday's video that I had one more uh, hot cash voucher to spend and I went ahead and I was at the Hot Topic at Lakeland Square. That is my nice, chill uh, Hot Topic that I like to go in. They have, uh, it's a, a bit of a bigger Hot Topic than the one at the Florida Mall that I normally go to. And uh, Florida Mall is kind of a tourist mall, so uh, it usually gets picked over. It's small and it's crowded a lot of the times. Uh, Lakeland Square's Hot Topic is very chill uh, and... It's a lot bigger. Uh, the layout is better. I'm not sure if it's bigger or just the layout is better. The layout is definitely better in there. But um, anyway, I went and I picked up some more blind boxes. Now, I didn't pick up the science fiction blind boxes. Uh, what I got was the Nightmare Before Christmas uh, blind boxes. And I was really excited to find these. I haven't been able to find these. It's kind of what I was looking for in the Florida Mall. Hot Topic, couldn't find them. I had a big old case of these there, so as I did uh, yesterday with the science fiction blind boxes, I picked up four of these babies. So uh, definitely we'll be doing an unboxing of these uh, rather quickly. And uh, I think these are actually older. They may have re-released these because I believe these came out last year. So I am excited. They're um, actually... Yeah, it comes with two Hot Topic exclusives. So uh, the science fiction ones did not come with Hot Topic exclusives. So I was excited to get these because I've been looking for them for a while. I've been seeing, uh, I think Radio J.H. Audrey actually opened some of these. So Okay, let me see. Uh, I'm going to go over kind of toy stuff first. I got some uh, like movie stuff, so I'll do the toy stuff first. Okay, I went to Target today, and uh, I ended up kind of browsing the toy aisle and, of course, the collectible aisle. And in the trading card uh, collectible section, I ended up finding these frozen dog tags. So I was really, really excited to, um, they're not done by uh, Interplay, um, but... They're really, really cool, and you guys know I love Frozen. I'm a Frozen fanatic. So to find these, they're really great. It says it comes with uh, one of eight different sticker sheets and one of 24 dog tags. So I got two. I definitely want to get more because uh, I love to wear dog tags. I haven't worn a uh, dog tag in a little bit, but I, I do love to wear my dog tags. Uh, I also picked up one of these Walking Dead Series 2 blind boxes. Why one? I don't know. It just happened to be what I grabbed. So um, I'm kind of disappointed now that I didn't pick up uh, Series 1 when it came out because I do love The Walking Dead. Like I said, 
sometimes I worry because I have kiddos who like to sit in my room with me, but I really don't think it's it'll bother them too much. I can always put them away when they come in. So, because I have my alien action figures up on my uh, um, bookshelf and they don't ever say anything. So, anyway, got one of those. And uh, now these uh, next two blind bags that I'm gonna show is actually kind of funny. Uh, I've been seeing. Ben's Toy Bin opened these, Radio J, Jaw Tree, and uh, so I got interested in them because they seem really cute and really different. So I ended up getting two of these Imaginex uh, blind bags. Is it Imaginex? Yeah. From Fisher Price. So, yes. Is it childish? Of course. But I'm a big kid, as I often say when I get something very childish, and I really don't care. They really look really kind of cool, and uh, this is Series 3. So, uh, I'm kind of disappointed that I, I got so late into the game. I believe Series 2 had like a steampunk guy in it. And like when, how the heck did I, have I been missing these for so long? Uh, I guess because I really don't go into that aisle too awful much. So, stupid me. Okay, uh, the next pickups that I'm going to show is actually from Toys R Us. Uh, I went to Toys R Us. I was on a quest actually to find these toys in particular, and uh, I was watching the, I think it was a Crazy Pony Lady, I think, yeah, pretty sure, Crazy Pony Lady, and uh, she was on a toy hunt at Toys R Us and came across the uh, Disney Pixar aisle, and uh, they had a bunch of these new Disney Pixar toys, and I saw them and I went, I must have those, so I went out and I ended up picking up uh, Wally, who is one of my, I love Wally. I haven't seen it in forever. I actually probably need to, um, need to watch that again pretty soon. But I love Wally. I think he's so cute. And, uh, I ended up picking up the, um, $8.99 one or the $9 one, uh, just because this, the small one was cute, but I, but I'll spend a little extra money and I'll get the one that's just a little bit bigger and poseable. So, I didn't get the uh, factory one. I got the Wally that we're, we all know and love from uh, just after the movie starts. So, and then I also got Eva, <laughs> um, Eve. So I have uh, Wally and Eve, and I believe in this series, yeah, they have factory new Wally and the bigger ones, and Mo riding on his little cart. So. Uh, I didn't get Mo. I don't think I saw Mo there, and I don't think I saw a factory new Wally. But I'm really excited. I can't wait to take these out of the package and display them on my shelf. And uh, Eve does come with a stand because, of course, she floats in the movie. So she comes with like a clear stand to make her simulate like she's floating. Okay, these next two things, I uh, I wasn't on a mission really to get these, but I was aware that these were out and. Uh, I wanted to try and pick up at least a couple of them. And that is the uh, classic collection Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figures and uh, released in 1988. These are the ones that I remember playing with as a kid. I've always been a giant uh, Ninja Turtle freak and uh, me and my sister both. Uh, I think my sister's gotten out of it just a teeny bit, uh, but I still love uh, TMNT. So, I went ape when I actually saw these in person. I, I hadn't seen these in person yet. And I went, oh my gosh, I remember this. Ah. Uh, so, of course, I had to get Donatello. And then I got Mikey. Uh, they had a Raphael there. I didn't pick him up today at Toys R Us, at least right now. It's buy one, get one 40% off of the uh, TMNT figures. So uh, I got one of these for 40% off. They had Raphael and a foot soldier there. And um, that was it. They didn't have the van. They didn't have Shredder. Uh, and they didn't have Leo. Uh, they also didn't have Splinter. So, And it's really funny because they don't show the foot soldier on the back here. So I don't know what's up with that. But... Um, yeah, they, those are going to stay in the packaging because the packaging is so cool and they're what I remember when I was a kid. So normally I don't keep things in the package, but I make exceptions for certain things. Okay, the last uh, few things that I'm going to show are actually uh, movies 
for some reason I always save the movies to the end. Uh, I was in FYE and there were a couple things I wanted to get in FYE, but I restrained myself and I only picked up one thing and uh, that is the original 1933 classic King Kong. I realized I didn't have the original King Kong. I, I don't like either of the remakes, either the one they made in the 80s or the most recent one by Peter Jackson. I like the black and white Faye Ray screaming like a banshee original King Kong stop motion animation. Love it. Uh, and of course I don't know if you guys have ever really paid attention but uh, I always kind of get fascinated with it and think it's kind of funny. Uh, the stop motion animation King Kong, when they would show it, if you notice, his fur actually looks like it's bristling and moving, and that's just from them, of course, uh, putting their fingers on the figure and shifting the fur as they would articulate it and take pictures. So uh, it's something that I'm always like big into detail, so it's something that I've always noticed since I was a kid and always kind of got tickled with. So yeah. Really excited to pick this up. I might actually give this a watch tonight because it's been a long time since I've seen uh, the original King Kong. So, gotta love Fay Ray, you know. Okay, uh, I also stopped by Best Buy. Um, I did finally have enough points. Uh, I have my gift certificates to auto issue at ten dollars. So I finally got enough points to auto issue my ten dollars certificate, and I went ahead and picked up the first season of Yu-Gi-Oh. Have not watched Yu-Gi-Oh. Really excited to see this, and I'm glad that I could get the entire first season for such a good price because it was a good price anyway without the uh, ten dollars off. But the ten dollars off just made it that much sweeter. So I'm gonna get stuck into that soon. I love my anime, and the last thing that. I picked up today. Everybody's probably going to think is really, really funny that I haven't got this yet, being that I'm such a big fan, but um, got the first season of The Walking Dead on Blu-ray. I got it at Target. I believe it's going on today. might have been the last day, or is it the 29th? I think it's going on through the 29th. I'm not sure. Today may have been the last day for it, but um, this was on sale for $19.99, the Blu-ray set. So 20 bucks, not bad at all. Um, I have been, I've, I've watched all three seasons on Netflix, and as I always explain, even if it's on Netflix, I want a physical copy of it if I really like it, because Netflix is notorious for taking things down, and you can only get it on DVD, so I'd rather just have the copy where I can pull it off my shelf or I don't have to worry about my internet connection or anything. I could pull it off my shelf, stick it in my DVD player or Blu-ray player and watch it. So I'm um, really excited now. I have to get, of course, all the other seasons and I can't wait for season four to drop on Netflix. It drops tomorrow and I will be sitting and running a marathon after I get through watching Gone with the Wind with my parents. Uh, we're going out to see Gone with the Wind tomorrow. It's a uh, Turner Classic Movies uh, cut a deal with AMC, and they are putting Gone with the Wind up on the big screen. I can't wait to see it. I haven't seen it on the big screen since they did that re-release years and years ago uh, when I was a kid. So, um, and that started my love with Gone with the Wind. So, we're looking forward to seeing that. And then Dad is uh, taking my mom and I out to dinner. So after that, when I get home, I will definitely be sitting down to watch season four of The Walking Dead straight through. I never catch it when it's on TV, so I always wait until Netflix drops it and then watch it then because I wait for the seasons that's to go on sale before I get them. That's going to be it for my pickups video. I know it's a long one today. I had a lot of stuff and I rambled a lot. Uh, I want to thank you guys for watching and um, definitely thumbs up the video for Saturday hauls. If you really, really like the Saturday hauls, I can continue to do that. Um, probably go out Friday and Saturday. Maybe so, maybe no. I don't know. It just depends on my schedule. Um, I work every other weekend. So, um, but yeah, definitely thumbs up the video. Let's me know I'm doing a good job and that y'all enjoy hearing my voice and seeing my face. 
Uh, and if you are not already one of my lovely subscribers, please do yourself a favor. Click the subscribe button down below and become an inmate of the Madhouse. And uh, if you're so inclined, leave me a comment down below about anything. Say hi, whatever. I love to read them and I love to respond to them. I want to thank you guys again so much for watching. And as always, peace, love, and happy gaming and toy hunting. Bye, y'all.